Hey guys, so if you're wanting to use the new IGTV feature on Instagram, um, your videos have to be vertical. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can convert your horizontal videos into vertical videos using Final Cut Pro. So for me, I wanted to post this video to YouTube and IGTV, which is why I started out with horizontal. If you want to just make a video for IGTV, I'm going to show you how right now. You just go to File, New, New Project. And then from here, click on 1080p, custom, and we're just gonna reverse that. So instead of 1920 by 1080, we're gonna do 1080 by 1920. Do that. So this is my horizontal project here. Um, this is my Whistler video, which is on my IGTV. So what I do is, um, if you click Command J, on the right hand side, you can see the word modify, and this will be your settings. So this is standard 1920 by 1080. Um, so what I do is, here's, um, you can see my IGTV one already here, but um, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to duplicate this. And I'm going to call this oops, Whistler IGTV 2. Um, okay, so it's the exact same as the other one. It's horizontal. Um, again, push Command J and click Modify. And then from here, click on 1080p um, and then hit Custom and then you just do 1080 by 1920. So what this does is it is now vertical. And now you can see all the clips there like that. So you can either have them like that. Um, what I personally do is I highlight all of the clips. And then on the bottom right hand side here, where it says special conform, I go to fill. Um, once that's done, it's filled. Now, let me just go back for a second, control Z. If you'd rather just have your video horizontal within the vertical, um, you can certainly do that. I'm going to show you how to change the color backdrop. Um, personally, I wouldn't recommend this just because the, the movie's so small. Why not just make it full screen? Um, but if you do want to keep it that way, click on the top left hand side where there's titles and generators. Go to solids. Um, let's say you want white, so you just take a white one and you drag it down below all of your existing clips. Um, like that. And this is a smoky white. I always prefer the bright white just so it's nice and clean. Um, but we're not going to do that, so I'm going to delete that. Again, back to selecting them all, down the bottom right, hit fill. So now this is where I go in and I manually align each clip. Um, it's a little cumbersome, but in my opinion it's worth it, so then all the shots are lined up. This does take a little bit of time. Um, I'm pretty quick at it, so it's easy for me. and. I can see here a lot of my shots are already mostly centered, so I don't need to do too much changing. However, if you do need to change one, um, let's see here. I'll wait for okay. So let's say this time lapse that I did, I want to move it more right. So you click on this. Um, I don't even know what this is called. Transform. Wait, let me just close my mail. Ignore how many emails I have. Um, trash. Okay. So click on this, special conform. I'm just gonna move this over. This is bigger. You can already see that I've rotated this a bit because I shot it on a bit of an angle. So you click this, and I always hold shift so that it doesn't move vertically, it'll just move horizontal and it'll stay on that line. Otherwise it could like maybe move around like that. So I just do that. So I basically just do that with each clip. Like this one, it could be a little more to the right. So just move it over like that. This one, I want to be more in the shot. And as long as this transforms highlighted, each time you clip, click on a clip, um, you'll be able to adjust it. So now for this, you can see I also didn't shoot directly in the center. And the camera didn't move and I didn't move. So for every shot, it's I'm going to be, let's just say, minus 80 on the x-axis. So what I do, instead of manually doing it, is click one and then click them. This is a large project. 
and then I click them all. And then I just go to the position and I hit minus 80. That way, these are all centered. You can see when I click on just one, up there it's still minus 80. Okay, that's a lovely freeze frame. So once you've gone through all your shots, um, you can just go and export it now. So go to File, Share, I just do the 1080p option. Um, and then you can click on Settings, just to double check. Uh, yeah, 1080 by 1920. You can even see on the left hand side that it's vertical. So click Share, it's kind of a large file, but this is like an eight minute video. Um, it's already exporting, so I'm not gonna do that. So once you guys have the file exported, you can actually upload it right from your desktop. So you don't need to do the whole airdropping it to your phone and then uploading it for your phone and draining the battery there. Cause it is a large file. Um, if it's probably around 10 minutes to an hour. Um, so I love that they gave the option that you can do this from your desktop. So you go to your Instagram page and then right here you just click IGTV and upload. So from here you can upload the file, you can choose your cover photo, add your title description, and you can also select if you want it to go to your Facebook page. So once you have the video uploaded to IGTV, you can actually have the swipe up features from your stories to your IGTV, which I didn't discover until just an hour ago when my friend Samia told me. So thank you Samia if you're watching. So how you do it is, let me show you. You pick a photo or a video, whatever you want to promote to send people to your IGTV. I always like to do swipe up, just so people know that there's something there. Check out my IGTV. I'm sorry if this isn't in focus. There we go. And then you just click this link here, IG video. Um, obviously, if you have more than 10, it says linked. If you have more than 10,000 followers, you can just do this anyway to any swipe up link. Um, but it's nice for those of us who aren't that popular. Okay, so just send it like that. And then let me just go to my Life Flaps account because you can actually swipe up on your own videos. Me swipe up. There she is, folks. All right, let me know if you guys have any questions or comments. Um, I'm new to this whole YouTube thing, so if you guys could subscribe. I think right now I have four subscribers. Um, I'd love to get that number up. And also like and comment if you have any questions. Bye.